taking my engine out. Finally, I got it up on the, uh, up on the lift. As you can see, um, it's coming out pretty smooth. Had to play with it a little bit as I was taking it out. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's solid. So I'm just continue jacking this thing out safely. And uh, it'll be ready to be examined, looked at, all that stuff. DJ25, OA Legacy, automatic transmission. Everything's clear out, gutted. Everything's ready to be swapped. So we're, we have my engine up in the air and we're gonna swap out the head with the motor that I got off of 2007 Legacy. Why are we doing that? Taking the head off of that one and putting it on this one because of this right here. Because the head, the oil switch, that's connected to this head, decided to, decided to break. So yeah, we're uh, back in maintenance mode. New PCV valve looking pretty good. New O-rings in here, transfer pipe. It's looking pretty solid. I'm um, sketchy about this side, but everything's pretty solid now. So I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and start tearing everything down as far as valve covers, uh, get the heads exposed, get this crank pulley off so we can take all the timing covers off and stuff. Work on the motor from outside and uh, yeah, that's basically what we're gonna do with this, this engine. Um, finally got out the car. So it looks like this is the rear facing side. Here's these two studs that you do not want to uh, damage or bend or break. You don't want to break these. Um, it's pretty much it right here. Pretty light engine. It's around 300 something pounds, so it's not really too heavy. But yeah, this is the project that we have going on now. So we have a new timing belt, water pump, the whole kit. We have new valve cover gaskets. We have a new um, throttle body gasket. Everything's OEM. We have a new intake manifold gasket. We have a new PCV that's already in there. We have the O-rings that are already in there. Basically all the gaskets that I needed to replace or had to take off, I basically have every gasket I need to uh, replace it back on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready to take this bracket off, uh, take the crank cover off, uh, the crank pulley off, take the timer cover off. And that's pretty much it. Everything's pretty much self-explanatory once the motor is out. If you've gone as far as to take your motor out of your car, I'm pretty sure you know how to do your valve cover gaskets and all the, all the small things in between. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and tackle that. I, I wanna get this in a more solid position to where it's not just hanging up super high like how it is now because i just don't want it that high above the ground um so yeah the motor's out everything's good you guys stay tuned i'm going to basically come back with first off i was able to record this as much as i wanted to only because i don't know it's just so many days went by to where i wasn't working on the car and when I do work on the car, I have to just do little bits at a time. So I didn't really have just all the time. Kind of just film everything. So yeah, I just went ahead and um, kind of got some of the parts. So we got me actually removing the engine and uh, just an overview of what I'm doing. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, slow Car Repairs, uh, Slow Car Garage, um, all the subscribers, the few that I do have. I appreciate you guys. Keep supporting. And uh, yeah, until next video, we're out. Peace.